So today I'm going to do uh, a tutorial on how to play a G chord. So it's a very often asked question by guitar players. So I'm going to tie in some basic G chord forms along with a G major pentatonic scale. So the G major pentatonic scale is also known as the E minor pentatonic scale and the E blues scale. So I'll play through that scale one time. So you got three open, three open, two open, two open, two open, three open. So that's a G major pentatonic. It's also an E minor pentatonic. And it's also uh, an E blues scale. So you can use it for all those different uh, situations. So I'll start off uh, today with uh, just a simple G chord here. So what you can do here is you can you can add all these different notes from the scale to your basic G chord. So if you're doing a progression in G major uh, or E minor, you can add some different interest to the chord. So uh, we can do it hammer on on the third string. Second, uh, fourth string, fifth string, and then end with the low G. Do that again, so I'm just strumming along, simple G chord. Hammer on uh, third string, hammer fourth string, hammer fifth string, and then a low G. Okay, now you can do this ending from the opposite side. This low G plus these three strings make a G chord. So we'll do like, uh, Hammer on third string, hammer on uh, fourth string. Now, this one's a little bit harder to hammer on. You have to kind of adjust your angle there. Okay, uh, fourth string, third. Now, let's add the note on the uh, second string. And then add that note on top there. You can write down the scale. Also do that off of this chord here with the G and D down, and then this, this here. So then you have those uh, three strings. You can add notes. Uh, fourth string, third, uh, fifth. Also have this chord here, the G B bass. You can add different notes to that. So, so G, G B bass on the inner strings with the second fret, third fret, and then you have different notes you can add in the middle. Okay, so hopefully that helps you to expand your understanding of what you can do with the G chord. Okay, thanks for watching.